So what is a barometer and how will you measure the atmospheric pressure? You can see that this is a uh, vessel in which mercury is filled and this is at most to, uh, exposed to atmosphere and this position uh, is B. We have seen that this is the B here, this is the position. So what will be this height of this liquid column? If there is vacuum here, there is vacuum, what will be the height of this liquid column? How will you find? To find out, you can consider two points, point B and this location. You can see that this is a connected fluid system and both are at the same level. That means pressure at B should be equal to P atmospheric pressure. So PB is equal to P atmosphere. We are making use of this principle. But what is the pressure at B? This pressure is due to the hydrostatic pressure of this liquid column. And here it is vacuum. Since it is vacuum, uh, there is no pressure here. So the pressure is solely due to the hydrostatic pressure of this liquid column. So PB is equal to rho GH. So P atmosphere will be equal to rho GH. In that way you can find out H. That is P atmosphere by rho G. So P atmosphere is equal to 1.01 into 10 raised to 5, the atmospheric pressure. Rho, if it is mercury, it is 13,600 into 9.81. This is equal to 760 millimeter. So in a way you can see that, say that 760 millimeter uh, of mercury column is equal to atmospheric pressure. And what? Uh, what will be the case if this is a if this is water instead of mercury if it is water then here this row needs to be changed so 13600 will be changed to 1000 so you will get 10.3 meters of water so in a way you can see that 10.3 meter uh, hydrostatic pressure due to the 10.3 meter of water is equal to atmospheric pressure so that is the uh, application of barometer.